Next series. We're going to motion again. We now have him in the slot, so we use this to our advantage. So now we put the guy they're doubling in the slot. We motion him extended motion all the way across the field. Well, they both follow him. So we're going to run speed option. Again, they're vacating this run fit. All right, that run fit's being vacated. So we just run a really simple speed option, okay, out there to where they're, they're vacating that run fit. And we end up with a, with a really good gain there. Okay, really positive play. All right, another example, we're in our short yardage deal. Okay, we're in that compressed set now. I want you to see this now, okay, because this is something that, that I tell people, and it is often the case. A lot of times, if you want to try to get your guy one-on-one -on -one with somebody, get in a jumbo set. Even if you're not a team that does this, if you're a pass team, this is a great way to get your guy because a lot of times they won't commit to putting another guy over the top because it really makes them light, you know, in that box against a run. So, you know, we took a look at it, you know, saw how they play it. All right. We got pretty good success there, um, you know, out of that jumbo, that little jumbo deal. Like I said, and it's just so different, you know, than what we typically, you know, do that it, that it gives teams – you know, it does give teams some some issues there. Um, again, we got we got a one on one out here. OK, so we may have checked something there. You know, you can see the quarterback and I are communicating or there there. There's some communication going on between between these two. You know, we'll signal routes and, you know, some things like that. But that was that was a second and one. We weren't going to get real, real cute there. OK. We get some type of a penalty, pushes us back. All right, here's another example. All right, here's another example of that run fit getting vacated with the motion. We hand the ball off. The ball gets bounced back on the zone play, you know, right into where, where it's being vacated. So if they're, if they're playing man and they're trying to double somebody, they got to give something up. You know, there's got to be somewhere, some area – here, you know, that they're giving up. So again, we've got him in the slot, right? We got him in the slot. We're motioning him all the way across. Okay. And now, you know, they've got four over three and they've got one on one. And, and that's something important to remember because there, there's another example of us working a, working a single receiver, you know, against single coverage. And we end up hitting it for a touchdown here, um, you know, on a, on a subsequent drive, you know, we end up throwing a throwing a touchdown on um, similar thing. We come back to the speed option. He fumbles the ball. Again, this kid wasn't a runner, so this wasn't a big. But you can see just the, you know, the, they're begging for the speed option here. You know, pitch the ball quick off of him. You know, get that thing kicked, and uh, you know it's a it's a good deal. But again, that's why you got to have these tools. Like we had it in. It wasn't something we run a ton of, but but we always practice you know, speed option or a way to get the ball out quick on the perimeter, I think is important. All right. We take a time out there. We got really, really long yardage. Okay. Now this is an example in our, in our choice package. We have a, the ability to call locked vertical. I'll talk about that more when we, we get into the, the passing game video section, but we have a way that, you know, we, we run, we don't run four verticals. We run, we run multiple adjusting routes, choice routes, whatever you want to call them. So here we want to have the ability to lock this route. If we truly want to go after this one-on-one -on -one to where if he falls off or he can't touch him at the 10 yard landmark, he doesn't shut it down, you know, with the adjustable stop, like we typically do. We want to keep it on so he can go. But what happens is, if he continues to carry it and this guy stays over the top, we have an automatic back shoulder deal that we do. So this will turn into once he clears the 15 yard mark, he can't run by him. He's thinking back shoulder all the way. And that's what happens here. And we, we rep this. We spend a lot of time on it. Okay. It's something that, that we do put, put quite a bit of time into. Okay. Again, we motion across. So we get the four over three, we got the singled up and we feel for pretty good about the, you know, the back shoulder, back shoulder deal there. 
Okay, we're getting trips. The inside zone again. I mean, we've been getting pretty good mileage out of that. All right. Getting pretty good mileage. We had a big penalty there. I don't know what happened there. We ended up with a huge, huge penalty. We ended up with first and the next city. So I'm not I'm not quite sure what what exactly transpired there. But you can see this is this is ultra long yardage. All right, here's an example. We go, we're gonna empty with the with the receiver in the backfield again. Okay, we're gonna motion the receiver out. It's gonna pull that guy out of the box. It pulls the bracket. We got a really light box. All right. We throw a receiver screen. All right. Throw a screen back away from it. Back away from where we, we took the extra defender out. Just kind of an extension of the run game. And there, there's something to keep in mind too. Now they've gotten out of, you know, and that's why we did it. We noticed the last time they did it, they pulled him back. So we thought we'll throw this little quick screen here, this little tunnel screen type of deal. All right. And it's there. We've got, I mean, you can see, shoot, <laughs> we, this, this is just ends up being poor execution because we've got them. We've got them schemed where we want them, but but um, you know we get we get a little bit of a little bit of poor execution there that ends up turning what should be a really really good play into a um, a not so good play, and then we get another penalty that backs us up. So we, we, we're we're getting really penalized here. Um, it's really kicking us kicking us back quite a bit. Uh, there's a choice route. Okay, he falls off. You know, again, we got the one on one, but that's where that lock comes in because, you know, there's a situation that wasn't, you know, you know, we end up, they fall way off and, you know, we end up, we end up throwing that deal and it ends up being an underneath throw. All right. Two by two. And again, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of the same, see a game like this, this is where they're, they're giving us some different looks, but at the same time, it's really, you know, it's pretty basic. You know, they tried to play around in the box a little bit with the with the stacking and the cross firing, and now they're only in a five man box. Okay, so now they've really they've really lightened that box up. We run a little double screen here. Let's see. I think we had a double screen on. We motion, pull him out. Yeah, we're faking the screen there. We throw the screen to the back. We get some pretty good mileage out of that. And that goes back to my, you know, the video I did, you know, on the, the game planning and the situational. Again, remember, they're yelling out screen, long yardage. So we show them a screen that we've already kind of ran. You know, we show them a screen and then we throw a slip screen now to the to the back and we get we get pretty good mileage out of that. That stuff has always been been pretty good to us. I mean, that's that's been uh you know, anytime on on third down and extra extra long, we call it so really long yardage. The defense is screaming, draw a screen. They're on alert. If you can show something in action to influence the people that are going to be responsible for for being the the rat of that screen or whatever you want to call it, you know, if you can if you can influence that, I think you're in you're in pretty good shape. You know, because even there, look, they're in man coverage. So, you know, that's an example of how kids just can't help himself. He's got the back in man. Well, he comes across, but watch his eyes. He goes, he because our quarterback looks there and he sees it. He runs to the screener. You know, he runs to the guy faking the screen. That takes him out of position. He ends up making the tackle, you know, 18 yards down the field or whatever. But, 